Hello and welcome back. Yeah, we're, we're we've almost done. We've got one last trailer here of silage. I've got two full bunkers and this bunker is 96% full. Well, I don't think everything's going to work. But um, and also notice the sky. It is 2:46 p.m. here in central Kansas and it is dark. Almost dark enough you'd think it would rain or drop a tornado or something. Anyway, um, oh yeah, so 2.46. I have not sped up time at all. Now, if you roll the video back, you'll notice that when I said, I'm going to collect all the silage, it was 9.40. That's six hours of silage collecting. Ah, six long, painful hours. It wasn't really all that painful. Woo! Let's go! Pull! Pull! Go! This won't. This won't actually uh, completely empty. I don't think. Nope. All right. Dunk. So now we just have to f put the rest of the silage in here. Uh, there we go. And done. All right, let's unhook the right device here. There. Cool. Now, let's turn off that truck. Oh, and it also took two and a half tanks of fuel in the Ford to do this. It's expensive, expensive little job. All right, so we have uh, 1.8, uh, about 2 million liters of silage. Good googly moogly. Alright, let's compact this sucker down. Should be nice and quick, because I've been sort of compacting as things got weird, so. Da da da, Ouch. Back up. Uh, the most boring part. All right, go forward. Onward. 98, 99. Come on, 100. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 100. There. So that one's compacted. Let's just go ahead and compact this mess in here. Just drive over it, and it'll all compact. Yay! All right. Okay, so we've got three full bunkers. Um, why are you only seventy-four percent compacted? When, what? What the? But 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 I I swear I compacted that other silo. <sighs> Bugger. All right, let's compact this silo. Yeah, the sky, it started turning dark about noon, and it just got worse and worse. I was actually having, the, I was actually driving the, uh, the Ford with all the lights on, because I was having trouble seeing what I was doing. It's kind of crazy. Damn, we go. I swear I compacted the silo. I'm not going, well, I am crazy, but. Go. 92, 93, 90, whoa. Stunt truck. Nope, no, no. Run into the fence. Go. So then what we'll do after we get all of these compacted down, I'm going to go ahead and blanket all of them. And then we have that field over there. I think actually I'm going to put every field in canola. Because, um, well, it's really honestly the easiest to do. And so 95, 96. And then we'll, um, hold on, I'm gonna, one thing at a time here. 99 and 100. All right, blanket that silo. Zoop. All right, jump. Blanket that silo. Zoop. 
Uh oh, jump, jump, blink at that silo, jump, and I can't blink at that silo because it's not enough. <sighs> I'll figure out what to do with that silo eventually. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do that field over, we're going to do all the fields in cannoli, cannola, cannoli, whatever. We're also going to do some, some selling of some equipment. Um, let's get in the Ford. We're also going to sell those stupid hay bales. So let's... Um, actually, let's get the other Ford really quick. Yeah, you. You hooked up to something? You are. Which trailer is this? The little one. Okay, we're getting rid of the little one. Because I decided the, the big trailer is good. Um, and I think three silos, three full silos, I think, I think we'll hit a million. I really do. Based purely on silo, on, on barley guff. Now, someone told me that this tractor, the uh, 8340, will pull the Condor. So I'm going to go and have this pull the Condor. And if it does, with or without a barrel of weight, let's get this turn. Um, if it does, then we are going to get rid of the Kirovitz. Sell that. Because the Kirovitz has a really high daily maintenance cost, 300 and something a day. And I think if we can get rid of that, that'll be good. Now, I could put the fertilizer spreader on the front of this. I don't, because it's not free fertilizer. And the uh, hired help, they run over the same spot over and over and over again. Crap, I need to fuel this thing, don't I? No, I don't. I'm not talking about the hired help doesn't use fuel. I also realized, yes, I realized that I was selling in the wrong spot. But I realized it too late and didn't feel like changing. So there you go. All right. Um, actually, I don't care about you being over here, but I do care about over here. So we're going to run up here because... I'm afraid he won't make a tight enough turn up here. So I want to go ahead and and run a top stripe. And then I'll let him work his way along here. I could let him go back and forth along the short part of the field. But that just doesn't feel right. Why would I do that? I mean, I'm sure there's a reason I would. And I did have a look at those other two fields over there. And I think I could pull them together. I think I can plow over the, the gravel road. But I don't know if I really want to. Oh my goodness, I think you guys want to kill me whoever suggested pulling those fields together. That's a lot. That's a lot of field. Get this lined up. Not there. Go. There. All right. Turn on the cedar. Level two. Go. Well, look at that seed go down. <laughs> That's all right. And after we make this pass, we'll hire the worker and let the worker finish this. And then we should only have to come back and do any final itty bitty cleanups here and there. I don't think I'm going to have to do much. Off. Go. Now. I take my worker. And position him properly. We're going to let him get to work and then we're going to go get the Kirovitz. Get rid of the Kirovitz. It had its purpose, but it's 
purposes no longer. All right, go worker. You working? Yes. Excellent. All right, gear vets. Oh crap! Those Fords do use fuel when the workers are working. Ugh, bugger. All right, I'm probably gonna have to stop and go and sort that. Actually, you know what? I might. I might buy a fuel Bowser. Because then I don't have to drive him all the way back in. I'll just watch his fuel level. Alright, Kirovitz. You were helpful, my friend. You were helpful, but no more. The Fords are working great. The case will work wonderfully. We will get the case. There's, no, there's really no reason not to. Then we're going to go and get the other Ford and let it see the smaller field. There we go. And sell. Alright. You. Alright. Now, what are we going to do with him? We're going to go seed that field, the smaller field. Whee, whee. So I'm going to seed the smaller field with this tractor. I'm going to do that. Or am I going to... Oh, I was going to move the hay bales. Let's do the hay bales. I've got that big tipper there. I'm probably going to sell that tipper as well. I mean, it's, it's a decent one. But... Yeah. I don't see a full reason for it. Alright, where's my forks? There they are. Instruction that I leave them. <laughs> There's a lesson for you. Don't leave forks in the grass. It's like snakes in the grass. Okay. It's what I thought too, sheep. And there. Okay. Now, let's go try to sort out our mess over here. Now... Alright, let's go up. Do we think like that? Down a little bit. There we go. There. Ugh, oh, that's rubbish, but I don't really have much of a choice. Oh, we made it! <laughs> One whole field run. Yay! Hope this turn is tight enough. Cool, so we're going to sell this bale, we're going to sell the other bale. I'm going to put this tractor to work on the small field. Um, oh, we were going to buy a sprayer. Now we got 190000 That's going to go down quickly because of the cost of seed. And also the cost of fertilizer. So I don't think I'm going to get the... Um, there's that one. I don't think I'm going to get the self-propelled sprayer. I think we'll grab the other sprayer, because we're just doing a test at this point. Because if the test fails, and we don't increase our canola yield, then what's the point? So let's do that, let's, since we're over here. Oh, I got eggs. We'll also drop off some eggs, grab a sprayer. This is, this is a crazy, crazy day here on the farm. Lots of harvesting, lots of deliveries. Get out, sell my eggs. Go. And away we go. Yeah, the Ford's using fuel. But it's not using it very fast, so we're just going to kind of watch it, I think. If it gets too low, I'll, I'll go and run over there and sort it. Alright, let's pull up here. Purchase. Uh, tractor front. Plow. A spoon fertilizer. Sprayer. So I'm going to get this sprayer. It's the cheapest one. We're just doing an experiment. So we're just going to go ahead and buy the cheapest sprayer. 
and if our experiment is successful then we'll uh, we'll deal with it then so let's take this to the farm I also was gonna plow I think I'm gonna skip plowing this time we'll do plowing next time try to you know cover as many bases as we can here I run in here fill up my sprayer so it's ready to roll and turn nope turn and fill do oh look at the little handle yay I'm just gonna let it fill all the way up cuz you know why not there good all right, we'll go put it over here by the fertilizer spreader, which is positioned, ready to go on this field. Go. I gotta go get this last bale. I figured I'd let you guys watch me fight with the bales, because... This bale... It's gonna be a little booger. Well, not really. I think I can do this. Back up. There we go. Oh, too much? No. Just a little bit forward. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh, back up. No? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ha ha ha! Come on. Don't. Uh, we know that's not going to work. Alright, so let's try. I think we can set it down without... Uh, like that, maybe? There! Yeah! Straightened up my bail. Alright, let's get you. Look at that! Almost pro bail handling skills. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard, you'll hurt yourself. Alright, so we're going to sell this guy. Then we'll come back with this tractor, seed the field. And he'll still be going, I'm sure. Then we'll go over and seed the other field. And, um... Yeah. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to check the length of the video so far. If this is approaching my usual two 30-minute episodes, two 30-ish minute episodes. Uh, we'll call it here and we'll come back and I'll, I'll empty the silos, or at least two of the silos and leave with like a scoop left or whatever. Um, if I have time, though, there it goes. Can I make this turn? What do you think? Yeah, I can. Woo! Um, if we have time left, though, what I think I'll do is... Um, cut away from here I'll go and sow all the fields and then I will um, I'll come back when all the fields are sown and I'll go ahead and, and run the time hopefully until the silos are done but before the canola is done because I can't do silos and canola at the same time the cat just is not big enough for that so um, I'm not going to put this in the grass this time. So we'll be back. Um, let's see, where am I going to put I'll, I'll just put it right there. There, that's perfect. Yeah, cool. All right, so we're going to be back when we have sown all of our fields in cannoli. Actually, yeah. Um, I'm going to go check the time, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we'll be back when the fields are sown anyway. So until the fields are sown, hang out. It'll be a second for you and many, many minutes for me. So here we are. Just uh, decided to do a high speed of me working on the last silo. The first two silos took forever, and the silo was taking forever, so I couldn't do all of them. I couldn't even do all of this one, actually. I just had to dump some of it because it was just too much. But here we go, uh, last silo. 
this was way more work than it really than I really wanted. Uh, I had to run it up 15 times because I kept overfilling the the silage thingamajiggy thingy there, and yeah. So I decided that we would just do a little bit of a front loader simulator because we haven't done front loader simulator in a while, so why not? the wonderful music that just, you know, sort of calms you down while you're driving back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> um, I didn't get as much money as I thought I was going to get out of this. And um, it really led me to reevaluate whether um, whether I wanted to, to do this ever again. I think next time I'm going to try hay bales, because I, I think hay bales will be... Um, easier and I think we'll get the same amount of money. And now that I have the straw mod, I can just rent a baler and I don't have to pay for the, the daily upkeep. So I think that's what we'll do next time we do barley or wheat. Because um, I don't want to just cultivate it because that's, that's lost money. I might as well get something out of it. So I've, I've, become, very, I've become very good at using the uh, front loader. Uh, but I, that's only because I can't, you know, screw it up too badly. It's a big bucket and I put it on the things and the stuff goes slurp into the bucket magically. Because this is farming sim after all. But, uh, yeah. Don't, don't expect this stuff. <laughs> I don't think this will ever be happening again. I think I'll use the silage facility once in a while. Uh, maybe for a lawn mowing simulator for a little bit extra capital. Um, I've got that fourth silo that has 8% in it, and uh, I probably just run Lawnmower Simulator for a little bit and get that all uh, get that all done and collected, and just to clean out the silos. I think I think we're about done with this. Um, I'm thinking I might sell the front loader uh, after this, or if not after this. Um, maybe close to because I, I I can't yeah you guys tell me what you think should I sell the front loader and and be done with the silage or should we uh, press on and do more silage um, we got what three silos it's going to bring us I think if I remember correctly three silos brought us 600,000 so it's 200,000 a silo I love that I got great demand for barley right there and I was just like Oh my gosh, I just sold all that barley. Oh well. What can you do, right? Um, at this point, I was fueled completely on um, sweet tea and dried pineapple. I was just about losing my mind here. <laughs> Going back and forth, you, you know, no scenery changes, nothing. Uh, so it's, it's fun. Yes, it's fun. <laughs> After a while. And I notice that my bucket keeps breaking. Notice how the, the device there keeps flopping around? we will probably do it again. Yeah, see? That, that doesn't look very realistic right there. Um, I keep breaking my bucket. I don't know how, but I do. There, it's really broken now. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I actually ended with a broken bucket. So maybe, that, maybe that's it. Maybe I need... That's my sign. I need to return the bucket. It's broken. Don't want it anymore. Uh, and and I certainly would, if I return it, I want to return it before I have to refuel it, because yeah, I don't want to pay for fuel. So we just, um, yeah, I, I don't know what else there is to say when it comes to uh, silage collecting. I think we're really close to our our goals here, I don't think we're far off. Certainly I think the windmill is within sight. Two windmills is certainly probably a possibility. Certainly probably. You like how I hedge that one? It's almost like a politician. So you you probably noticed that the, the verbiage that I used in the last episode versus this episode made it sound like it was all one episode. Well, it was originally. Um, but then it turned out that I had recorded three parts worth. And I thought about putting everything on 
episode 9. Um, but then I got called away for work, and I'm actually not, haven't, you're watching this, I'm probably not back yet. Um, so, uh, maybe I will be back, we'll see. But, uh, I said, oh, this is perfect now, I'll just call this episode 10. I can record up getting the canola and such for the other half of, of episode 10. And then you guys have Farming Sim, and I can get it done quickly so that I can get off and go off to work and deal with that fun stuff. I hope you guys are, are enjoying this season. It's It's been kind of interesting for me. Um, some of you did have said I shouldn't have bought the season 2 mods. I know. I said I was only going to do season 1 stuff, but really some of the season 2 stuff is just too awesome. So, you know, you gotta kind of live and learn. I'm hoping next season we'll do something different. I kind of have some thoughts. If you want to see um, historical farming in Hagenstead, Fadman plays games. He's got a historical thing going on. It's, uh, I, I just laugh at them trying to plow a big field with a one meter plow. It's just, you know guys, <laughs> that, that's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do it, but he's got someone in there with him. He's doing a multiplay, so at least he has help. And here we go, the very last scoop of this bunker. Yay! My bucket's gone knackered again. That's all right. Yay! Parade around with a bucket in the air, bucket in the air. Yay! Okay, get down, stupid bucket. All right, dump that in there. Shoop, and ink. Five, seven hundred and fifty-nine thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars. How about that? I hope we still have guff in our bucket. Let's get that out of our bucket. Out bucket. Out. Thank you. I realized there was no money involved, but it was there and it was going to bother me. All right, let's turn that off. Let's go see where's our fields. Oh, look at our beautiful fields of canola stretching out into the distance. So, uh, yeah, this field is sprayed and fertilized and cultivated. I also sprayed the other field over here because if I saw the sprayer, I didn't want to sell it with all of the spray in it. So, and I still have that trailer over there for reasons of I don't know. That's, that's really a good reason. It's really the only reason I have, I think. How are you doing, sheeps? You look like you have a full sheepy thing. Almost full sheepy thing. Excellent. Okay, so we'll come back when we have uh, finished growing out our cannoli. Ooh, that field's for sale. Let's find out we, what we can do about field 18. Oh, you do have to go over there to buy it, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I think, yeah, let's go grab one of the tractors. Let's not walk, just mm, this one. Let's see about buying the field and then flipping it. So let's head over here to the field. Because if I, if I get it, and then I can flip it, flip it for, I don't know, a few thousand or so. That wouldn't be so bad. Unless it's that one. Is it that one that's joined to that field? I don't remember now. We're going to head out here. We're going to check out this field. Look at all that canola. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, such a big map. Where is this field again? Oh wow, it's over there? Really? Yeah, well, we can cut across field 15, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't want this field. I'm just going to see what they're going for right now. And then we'll, uh, 
Then we'll go back and prep the harvest our cannoli. Man, look at all those little fields. You forget about all the little fields here in central Kansas. All right, let's see what they're going for up here. Since we have almost 760,000. Get that off my screen. Turn that off. All right. Let's have a, let's have a gander here. 67,000. Right now it's 34. I could flip it for 30,000. Yeah, we'll come back closer to 2,200. All right, so we'll be back when the uh, canola is ready.